Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with a Walmart haul for you. The grand ladies are here with us, so we're going through fruits and vegetables quickly. So we had to make another run to the store and picked up a whole bunch of other stuff while we were at it too. It's a 237 and some change haul, but one item you're not seeing, and it was $52 on its own, was a big bucket of chlorine tablets for in the pool. So you're not gonna see that. So the food itself, I don't know, 237 minus 52, you figure it out. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna start right here. I have been watching these shoes. They have been in my cart on walmart.com since spring, and they come in and out of, what do you call it? Like sometimes they're available, sometimes they're not. I always miss them. Well, they had them all on clearance at Walmart today. They were $16, I got them for 12. So I wasn't gonna pass them up. I think they're adorably cute. They're by No Boundaries. I love wedges. They're easier for me to walk in than heels just because of the wedge. So I absolutely love them. So I grabbed a pair. They had all different sizes of these two, but I got them in a size eight. So we're just gonna go around. Harper, could you do something with that so it doesn't fall for me? Picked up another pack of blueberries. The kids love them. This is, how much is this? Is it a pint? I can't read it. What? Yes, what it is a pint. Thinking? Got a pint of blueberries. We love them. We needed some grape jelly, so I just got a thing of the the um, Concord Grape Grape Jelly, the, the Grape Value brand, one of our favorites, and it is a one pound, two ounce jar. Hubby needed some mayo, and Dukes is his favorite mayo, so he grabbed this at Walmart, and it is a one-quart thing of the Dukes. Is, do you guys like Dukes, or what is your favorite type of mayo? It seems that there is like a very strong line between mayonnaise and Miracle Whip in this house. We're mayo people, so grab that. I may as well get the canned goods out of the way first. I grabbed just one thing of the great value mushroom pasta sauce. We enjoy this a lot. It's really good. So grab that. Hubby picked up some of his sardines. If you guys are longtime followers, you know he loves sardines. And these are the great value in the Louisiana hot sauce. And I do believe they're all the same. So he grabbed four of the sardines at Walmart. He grabbed two things of these smoked oysters. This is the Geisha brand, Geisha brand, and it is fancy smoked oysters in sunflower oil, a 3.75 ounce. I think these are like the pull top, easy open pull tops. He really likes smoked oysters. So he grabbed two and I apologize for the glare. We grabbed two of the corned beef hash, the great value brand. We like to have this in the morning for breakfast. It's just such a quick, easy side. Fry some eggs, you know, bacon, whatever. And it's really good. The Great Value brand is really good. So we grabbed two. I picked up a thing of the Kraft, the creamy Italian dressing. This is probably my absolute favorite salad dressing is the creamy Italian. And it's really hard to find. And they used to have it in the Great Value brand. They didn't this time. All I could find was the Kraft. So I grabbed it. And it is a pretty big bottle for me. Usually I get the smaller, but this is the only one. So it's a 16 fluid ounce. We have been having a bugger of a time finding mushrooms, the stems and pieces. I buy them at Dollar Tree all the time. I haven't seen them for a month and a half. And at Walmart, this is the only brand they had. They didn't even have their great value brand and it's not even on their app. So I don't know what's going on with the mushroom stems and pieces, but we grabbed two of these and these are grown in America, the Giorgio brand, and it's an eight ounce can so we grabbed two because couldn't find them but then we went to Aldi's Aldi's had a whole bunch so that was all my canned goods so I'm going to go ahead and continue over this way the kids love fresh green beans so they look nice this time I grabbed a massive amount of green beans I don't even know if they have these weighed I don't think they do I think they go by weight when you check out but grabbed a bag of those they looked really nice Needed another head of lettuce. We go through lettuce like crazy. We had tacos the other night, so needed another one to replenish. I already showed the blueberries. Picked up a pack of these strawberries. It's strawberry season and they just looked really good. So we grabbed another pack and this is gem packed and it is a product of the USA. 
and it is a one pound is what I got this time. The girls really love blackberries, so we picked up a pack of blackberries this time. And these are the Pure Fresh brand, and it is a 12 ounce container of the blackberries. Bananas, of course, they're a staple. You have to grab those when you go grocery shopping. So we grabbed, I think there's five here, five of the bananas. A big thing of grapes. We wanted cantaloupe, and their cantaloupe looked horrible. So the girls decided on grapes instead of cantaloupe. So we picked up just a bag of the green seedless, and they're, they're called table grapes. Grab those to snack on. Grab some more tomatoes, the bigger slicing tomatoes, Nature Fresh Farms. Grab two of those. Hubby grabbed another thing of the carnation powdered milk to have down on the shelf. We're getting a nice little supply down there stocked up, which is good. Grab that. And the expiration date on this, guys, is what? You can see me in the reflection. It's May of 23, so have till next year for that, which I think is really good. Because the, um, the shelf stable milk, the shelf life on that is such a shorter time. It's only like three months, if that. So the powdered milk lasts a lot longer on the shelf. Grab a thing of butter because, you know, you always need butter. Saw these, and I think hubby's going to make ribs one night for supper. The girls, the, the grand ladies love ribs. So I think that's why he grabbed these. And these are the extra tender, extra meaty pork baby back ribs. And these were sort of pricey. This is a little bit over three pounds and they were $4 and 64 cents a pound. So paid $14 and a penny for that. But you would pay way more for that if you went out to a restaurant and get much less on your plate. So we grabbed that. That'll definitely feed the four of us well. Also picked up these. These are the beef, what does it say? The beef chuck riblets. And this was a how much this way? Two pounds, 2.94 pounds, and it was $2.53 a pound, so paid $7.44 for this nice big hunk. So we're going to have, I guess, beef one night and pork one night of the ribs. I grabbed these just to have for a quick and easy lunch while the, the ladies are here. These are the Purdue chicken nuggets, and these are the 100% all natural. They're all white meat, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no antibiotics. And it's a 12 ounce package. I think these were like $3 and something for this pack of chicken nuggets. And so we grabbed those to have, I'll show the creamers first. They did not have any of our, the great value brand of our coffee creamers at all. We haven't seen them for a while now. I don't know what is going up with that, with that. So we had picked up these. They had the International Delight Hazelnut, the Irish Cream, we did find the Great Value brand in the hazelnut, and Hubby does like that, so we grabbed one of those. And then they had the International Delight, the Cold, Cold, Stone, Cold Stone Creamery, stuttering, the Sweet Cream Creamer. So we grabbed one of each of those, and then, of course, we went to Aldi's, and they had the Aldi's brand, these sugar-free French vanilla for me, and the Hubby's kind that he likes in the Italian Sweet Cream, but... So we have plenty of creamer now. Grabbed a bunch of the frozen veggies. We grabbed the bird's eye, the steam fresh sweet peas. And this is a 10 ounce pack. And these are the ones you can steam right in the bag, quick and easy. Grabbed a thing of the great value whole, her, whole kernel corn. And this one you can also steam right in the bag. And it is a 12 ounce. A bird's eye, the super sweet corn. And it is a, I'm sure it's probably a 12 ounce. Are they all 12 ounce? Why am I not seeing it on there, guys? Oh, over here. Nope, I was wrong. It's 10 ounce. And another thing of the, the peas. I didn't realize we grabbed two things of peas and two things of corn. But that's fine. It'll get eaten. Kids are here. We had a couple of our other grandkids here the other day as well. Our grandson and our littlest grandlady. So we went through some pizza that day. So we picked up another box to restock, the Totino's, the party pizza. The kids all seem to really enjoy the triple cheese. And if any of them would want it with pepperoni, I have pepperoni on hand that we can add. So picked up one box of those. 
Harper loves the chicken pot pies, so we grabbed some banquet, the chicken pot pies. I grabbed four, just have them in the freezer, even if she doesn't finish them off before she goes home. These will last, last a long time in the freezer. So we grabbed four of those. Needed just some regular bread, got the great value kind this time, just typical white bread to make sandwiches and things out of. And hubby grabbed a thing of his mission, the carb balance flour, the um, tortilla shells. We, we like these a lot, so grab those. And of course, guys, I had to grab my cupcakes, but they didn't have any of the ones that I super like with the green and pink frosting. So I, these ones are on the little bakery clearance roller rack thing. So I grabbed those. I saved a dollar by getting them this way. And they're the chocolate and vanilla. They're, you know, for 4th of July, why not? How do you pick these up? One night we're going to have pizzas for supper. And this is the Mia brand. We've never tried this one before. And you get two pizza crusts in here. And they're nice thick, if you can see that. They're nice thick pizza crusts. So one night we're going to have that. And it says oven fired. If you guys have tried this, let me know how they are. They look good. Grabbed a thing of the host, Hostess Cupcakes just because. <laughs> I don't know why, just because. There's eight in here. We all know the Hostess Cupcakes. They're delicious. Hubby grabbed some, the HTH, the Spa, the Bromide tablets. He has a hot tub that he uses, and I guess he uses these a lot just to keep it clean. I think that's what they're for. So he grabbed one of those while we were at Walmart. London has the sniffles, so we picked her up some of the Equate brand, the children's multi-symptom cold medicine, just to have here. It's very, very flavored, four ounces. They had a bigger container of it, but whatever she doesn't use of this, she can take home with her and have it there. So we just grabbed one of those to help her out with her little stuffy nose. I grabbed a thing of the protein shakes. They actually had vanilla this time. So I went ahead and grabbed myself a, I think this is a 12 pack. I'm sorry guys if I veered off the screen, but I think there's 12 in here. It's hard for me to see, but yes, there are 12. I've been having to pick up the cat coffee latte and they haven't had any chocolate or vanilla the last probably two or three months. So I saw the vanilla one and I grabbed it. I really like it for a quick breakfast or lunch for me. And then the girls are both big time Apple fritter, blueberry fritter fans, they love them. So we looked in Walmart today and they had them. And there's a six count in here and they looked very fresh and nice. So pick these up for, and they were only $3.76 for all of these. You would spend way more than that on one of these if you went to Dunkin' Donut or somewhere to buy one for one. So we got a six pack for $3.76. So that made them happy. And then that's about it, guys. Other than, like I said, I'm not showing the, the big bucket of chlorine tablets. They're still in the back of the vehicle. But, yeah, that's our Walmart haul. Hopefully this will get us through till the kids go back home. But who knows? Maybe not. You may see another one while they're here. So if you guys like this type of video, please subscribe. Love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.